Hey everybody, Zach here at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at a solution to help you keep the campsite organized. As you can see here, I have the Thule Shoe Organizer. When I go out with my family, no matter where I go, we take a ton of different shoes for exploring. So this is what a normal weekend could potentially look like for us. Now, if I didn't have this organizer, they're going to be laying all around the campsite, you know, whether it's by the door to our RV, laying outside if we're doing a rooftop tent, or even just if you want something like this at your weekend getaway cabin, whatever you've got, having all of these shoes laying around is a mess. And the tighter the space, whether it's a bigger, you know, decent sized RV like this, or you've got like a sprinter van, you need that space and having a bunch of shoes laying all over the place is not the way to go. So if we take a closer look, we can see we have all kinds of different size shoes. I have my kids' shoes, I have my wife's shoes, we have sandals, I have my regular running shoes, I even have some big hiking boots. So I have pretty decent sized feet and my shoes are a little tight getting down in there but they definitely fit. So I can fit a couple of my kids' shoes in each little slot. Mine, I'm only ever able to get one pair in there. But all together, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 different pairs of shoes. So imagine that laying around a sprinter van or laying outside of a rooftop tent. You know, you don't have a lot of space there. You want that to be enjoyable space, not cluttered with all of your mess. So this is going to be a great way of doing that. Now, when it comes to how we install this, we have this on the back of our RV today on a ladder. This is probably not how most people will do it. If you want to, go right ahead. But they have a couple different ways of mounting this. So what's nice is these straps can loop around and then they snap and they have hook and loop in that same spot. So you can either hook those onto something like your tent, um, the Thule pods are a really nice system. We installed those inside on a wall. We'll take a closer look at those later. Um, you can install those pods on the side of your RV and then they snap around them. We didn't want to drill any holes in any of the RVs we have on site today. Um, same thing if you're putting them inside the camper, you can do that as well. But Thule also has some really cool hooks that will hook up into the awning on an RV or a camper van and then you just have it hooked there. So no permanent installation. And then you have your shoes outside because the tighter the space, even up off the ground, you don't want this sticking out. So it's got pretty decent sized footprint whenever it's coming outside. And what I like about this is the material. This is a lot thicker than some of the, you know, the organizers I've personally used for, you know, my smaller apartments in the past. Something I would just have hooked to the door. I think that this is going to hold up well, you know, especially in those outdoor kind of environments that you're going to be using this. So those seams go all the way through. You can see where those pockets, how they go all the way to the back side here. Now, they get a little bit wider the further you get down. Not really by real design, but just because they don't have the other pocket to push down on them. So they have a little bit more room to spread out. And what I like about it is down here you can see we have these little vents. So if we have any kind of moisture buildup, so for us, we play around in the rivers a lot and our sandals are constantly wet and they start to smell after a while. Stuffing them in here isn't going to do a great job of letting them air out, you know, if you just left them laying around, but it gets them a little bit of ventilation in there so it's not so kind of stagnant whenever it comes to keeping wet stuff in there. Now, if we take all of these shoes out, we can get a closer look at how deep these pockets actually go. Easily can fit multiple smaller shoes and even those larger ones like I had of my own in here. And what you can see is I'm already starting to collect sand that fell off my kid's shoes. And what's nice about this is you can easily just wipe that out. This material is going to, you know, you can easily wipe that out if you get mud or dirt in there. We can dump it out. And I like these mesh pockets if we want to keep anything loose. Um, if you, you know, maybe you have some smaller shoes or you want to put some socks in there to let them air out. I think these pockets definitely have a purpose. Now having all the shoes out of the organizer, you can see how many that we can take with us. Imagine this spread out all over the place. Now, a few of these shoes aren't going to make it on the same trip. You know, we're just not doing that type of trip. 
But you're probably, you know, a family of four um, is going to have a lot of different things. So whether you're just going by yourself or you've got your family with you, you want to be able to get those up. Now, being able to carry lots of different shoes like we're doing here today with kids shoes all the way up to my size shoes, it's what, the way we can do it is with these deep pockets. So I've got this loaded up for the most part, just to show off, we also can cover this up. So my hiking boots and my trail shoes, those were a little bit large to get this zipped up all the way. So I took two pair out and I'm able to get this closed up, which is really nice. That way it's a little bit easier. You know, you could even have it transport this way. And we can just roll that back up and we have these little hooks in here and then they just hook into that bungee which is really nice so i think if i got my boots back in place i don't think that they would be able to get this closed up all the way so i'm asking a bit much for it to have these boots in there and get this closed up i think we'd be putting too much stress on the zipper there. But when it comes to closing this up, I think it all depends on the size and how many shoes you have. I am really kind of testing this thing out when it comes to, you know, how many shoes, how big of shoes we can get in there. Um, I think overall though, the biggest thing is I got all my family's shoes up off the ground. So whether you're keeping it outside, inside, large camper, small sprinter van, rooftop tent, it doesn't matter. It's a nice piece to add to your campsite just to make things a little bit more organized and keep things up off the ground. And the material is really nice. So I think this is definitely better than those kind of, you know, those ones we've all seen that people have hanging on their doors at home. Those are fine for that purpose, but when we're getting it outside and it's getting wet and it's getting dirty, I like this material that Thule has. Now, let's take it inside, let's show you how those pods work, and let's also bring in some team members to go over some other features with this. So, today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Thule Shoe Organizer and the Wall Attachment Pod 2.0, their, their uh, organizer holders, and the Thule Toiletry Kit. So, Zach, do you want to get us started talking about um, the uh, the uh, shoe organizer? Yeah, so the shoe organizer, um, as you can see right here, holds a lot of different shoes. So I've got all kinds. I was a little suspect on if it was going to be able to hold my shoes. I wear a size 13, and most of them in here are mine. So I have it held in place with the, the Thule attachment points there. And that's doing a good job, but when it comes to carrying all of our shoes, so I have a lot of my outdoor type stuff. So when I'm out hiking and running and climbing and all those things, playing in the river, I want that stuff up and out of the way. And this does that for you. So anytime you're in your RV, your camper van, you're you know camping out of a tent, whatever, this gives you the ability to get campsite a little bit cleaned up. Um, so I've got... Most of my family shoes that we used for this past weekend, actually, uh, I just threw them all in my car today and brought them out. So I've got kids' shoes that fit down in here. You know, they're pretty deep, so you can see how deep this is. And right down here, um, John, if you don't mind coming out a little bit closer, it's got this little spot right here that allows it to breathe. So specifically with all of our sandals, those come home wet every weekend because we're out in the water and we have to just leave them outside. This allows it to kind of breathe. You know, they're still kind of trapped in there, but you can see my kids' shoes get, they go pretty far deep. So sandals fit in there. Now the surprising thing with my hiking boots, those don't have like a really good fit, but I mean, they're held in place pretty good. They actually fit better than my trail shoes. So, I think that it uh, it does a pretty good job. It's nicer than the ones you get at a department store. Those I feel like are just kind of a cheap fabric. This has a more of a nicer kind of duffel bag material, not quite to Thule's bag standards, but it's still good material. Uh, 
How about the stitching? Uh, does the stitching look like it's going to hold up to, you know, repeated insertion yeah. or removal of like I, I work boots? So. Or? Yeah, so it's definitely, you know, what I'm doing is trying to, trying to think of the ones I've seen and used in like my apartments in the past that after a while they kind of start getting torn up. So I think that if you're tossing this around repeatedly and it's getting thrown around when you're not hanging it up, it might see some signs of wear and tear, but the stitching seems to be pretty good. Uh, one thing to that, so it has this flap to close it up, but with all of the shoes I have in here today, there's no way I can get this closed up. So if I took a few of them out, you know, take out my boots and these shoes up top, we could probably get that closed up. Can you, try that? Better, can you, can you try to take out those top, that top row of shoes and let's see how the flap looks? Yeah. So, and I think what that comes down to, you can see I can push those shoes in further. It's basically pretty deep. So up top, and maybe I have that, in a, you know, not as good a situation. You can see how it's kind of tapers down so probably my shoe should go down at the bottom we can test that out real quick okay. get the kids shoes up top so that might well maybe not just because it's this one's wider up top to allow my boots to get in there, but it's not down here. So it's deeper down at the bottom. So you can see sandals fit in a little bit better. Okay. But as for getting my boots in there, I don't think it's gonna work. So that that's one thing to it, but I mean, if you're just a couple people, just you and your, your partner out, I think that you're not gonna fill this up all the way. I mean, in reality, like, I don't need a couple of these shoes for a trip, so I think we could probably get it closed up pretty good. But even moving those to the top, so close it up having shoes up there. So the hook and loop that holds those in place, you know, we've got a good handle to move this around, which is kind of nice. And you can see back here, maybe on camera, it's going to be kind of tight with the but they've got stitching all the way back through here too. So those aren't like glued in place on all those different pockets. The handle's been reinforced as well, which is kind of nice. So I don't have to worry about that tearing. So. Okay, can you, uh, can you talk about those, um, the uh, wall attachment pods? How yeah. Do you yeah fasten sure. those to the wall? gonna maybe be kind of tight to get those out I need probably need something to pop those out but they're two different pieces so I use some screws to put those in place against this our wall right here and they've got a little release point so what this does which I don't want to do that with my knife I may need to grab a flathead screwdriver later um, if you put these like on your camper or your van it's basically hiding those screw heads. So you've just got a nice little white piece there. And I don't know about capacity on those. I guess it just depends a lot on the, uh, you know, what you're putting it into. In reality though, you're not putting a ton of weight on it. So if you just use the proper hardware, it does come with some screws. Um, if you use those, it's gonna be able to hold your shoes for sure or your toiletry bag, which I don't think you're using these for your toiletry bag. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that in a bit. Um, I do have a question for you about the pods. Um, it says it says weight capacity 22 pounds. Oh, OK. Uh, but um, now that's mounted into a solid wall. If you were going to put that in your RV, where would you mount those pods in an RV? So um, what I was thinking is if you want this like on a Door. It just depends on your RV, how tight the space you're working with. Um, for me, I would potentially have them on the exterior so I can just have my shoes accessible outside. So, you know, 
working with a smaller RV or a Sprinter van. Um, it's just one more thing that's going to kind of chunk up the area. You're getting them up off the ground, but then you have something that you have to walk past. And, you know, unless you're in a really big Class A motor home, you're not going to have a ton of space. But you um, would have to put two screws in the outside of your... Yeah, car. so that, that kind of is not that great, but that's what the, the cap is for is to... You probably want to put a little sealer behind that as well, um, even though it's up against the wall pretty flush. I think, though, like if you have like a rooftop tent, though, you could easily run these straps around some of those uh, things as well and not have to use the pond. So it just kind of depends on your setup. Okay. Can you also, I mean, they have the little um, round cutouts right underneath there. Can you just use like the hook that you have on the other guy that will go over the back of the door? Could you use two hooks like that and just hang it on the back of your door? So this hook wouldn't fit. So what I tested out earlier was a carabiner, and I think you need one that's got a pretty big opening on it to mm -hmm. get it hooked into something to hook it on. But are, are those the holes you're talking about? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So I think you could definitely get something in place there. Um, it's just kind of to fit your setup. Yeah. So there is a little bit of flexibility on how you get this installed. Um, one thing I was trying to also figure out is how useful these are. Yeah. These bungees here to kind of clip stuff, and I'm still just trying to figure out the purpose of those. Um, I think you could probably find some use for it of keeping stuff put there, but I just haven't found that use yet. Do you guys have any ideas? Can you get a little closer to that? Oh, yeah. So just these little bungees here with a hook. And they don't, they don't seem to work in conjunction with these unless, actually, I just realized what it was. I'm sorry. It's to keep this rolled up. There you go. There you go. Yeah. I was thinking they'd maybe be like a, an anchor point for something else. So that's way easier than talking about back behind. Yeah, that looks a lot nicer. Yeah. yeah. Problem solved. Yeah, there you go. So it looks like this bag would come in handy like in, in anybody's closet too, just to get all those shoes up off the floor. Yeah, like. definitely in your closet if that's what you're wanting to do with it. You know, so you can have it for keeping your stuff up off the ground uh, while you're camping. Um, and then keep everything organized and attach it to, you know, your closet door. I definitely think that's a possibility. So it's, uh, it's kind of one of those things where it serves, you know, a couple different people. I really think though, that if you're camping in, you know, a rooftop tent or a sprinter van, especially when you don't have a lot of space, but you do have multiple people with you. It gives you uh, it gives you a lot more floor space. That's for sure. Instead of keeping your stuff on the ground. Yeah. Can we talk about the toiletry kit? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Um, toiletry kit is same thing for me. Um, so I've got most, not everything, but a lot of stuff that my family would take on a quick little weekend. Um, and instead of having, you know, two or three different dot kits for my family of everyone's stuff, you just keep it all together because no matter where we go, when everybody's got their stuff laid out everywhere, it's just crowded. And I think that this is kind of nice to keep it all together. And it is much larger than what I personally use. Um, so I think that it definitely has a lot of space for keeping stuff organized, has all these mesh pockets and then these clear ones down here to keep stuff so pretty good spacing um you know you start getting a couple things in there and it starts getting pretty tight i mean i just have like a thing of toothpaste and deodorant and this pocket's filled up all the way and they're all about that same size so this pocket is definitely the largest you can keep some bigger things in there um but you also have to keep in mind folding it up and being able to zip it up all the way as well. 
Do you think in that big pocket there would be enough space to fit like a hair dryer or something on, a little bit on the larger side? I think regular hair dryers, no. If you buy one of those kind of small compact ones like you'd see at a hotel, I think you could probably get that in there. But I, the hair dryer my family has, no, I don't think it would fit in there. Um, it would take up just a bit too much space. It would be... You could maybe do it, but I think you'd be stretching those seams at the zippers a little too much where you put too much stress on the bag, especially if you had other stuff in there. And yeah, that would probably limit what you could put in the other pockets too. Right. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But I mean, you know, it's good size, it's good material. So I like that it has that handle on it. This hook system, um, I like the style on it because you could fit it around a door in your camper. Um, or a door at your house. So, you know, it's not just for if you're at a campsite, you can put it in a hotel or at your own home. I don't know if anybody's going to just be working out of this at their house, but it's pretty good size. If I got these side pockets emptied out, you know, we can get all of this stuff together. I'm trying to do this not on the table is somewhat challenging, but. Down on the ground, sorry guys. So then it goes down in a pretty nice little bag there. Nice little handle for carrying around. So I think that this was a uh, you know, compared to toiletry bag or dock kits that I owned, it's one of the nicer ones for sure. I think space-wise, it's got enough stuff for my family. It's surprisingly compact for all the stuff that you've got in there. For sure. Yeah, I agree. So some of these little small pockets in here, I, I mean, these are really small travel size bottles of lotion and body wash and they are uh That's right. you know i don't know they don't do that good of a job but the rest of it seems to hold itself in place okay well there seems like there's a lot of pockets and and ways to sort out all the different things that you have yeah yeah definitely definitely so i mean i've got a beard trimmer and some other products down there so it, it fits a lot of stuff that you may take with you um you know, you is that a look. mirror there? A what? Is yes. there a mirror in there? Oh, yeah. Okay. I, thought you, I thought you said something else. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> mirror is, uh, it's okay size. It's pretty thin. So I honestly think if you put enough pressure on that, you know, you can see it's bending right there. I so, think you'd have to be a little concerned with that when you're rolling it up. For sure. Um, it It is not glass. It is reflective plastic so you would just snap the plastic so that's so i guess there's definitely something to that um which i don't know if that's kind of something for traveling on an airplane if that has something to do with it or not i'm not 100 sure how that works uh but that definitely could break if you put enough pressure on it that's for sure are the plastic pockets i mean maybe they're not completely watertight but are they pretty leak proof I think, you know, if you had some like toothpaste or lotion or something get or shampoo, I think it would do okay. But if you look down here, there's, you know, the zipper doesn't go all the way. So I think that some could leak through there. Um, I think that for casual spills, yes. But, you know, stuff like shampoos and lotions, it's going to be messy inside, but I don't think much is going to get out. But if you just had like straight up liquid, it probably would have uh, a little bit more issues up throughout the bag. Like this soap, if that spilled out, that would probably start leaking through there for sure. Yeah. But yeah, it's, uh, you know, the materials right in line with what I would expect out of Thule on both of them. The quality is definitely there. Um, it definitely serves its purpose, so 
I think they're nicer than what you would probably get, you know, if you went a more economical route, that's for sure. Yeah, what is the price point on these? Um, I don't recall. I had my employee account up, so I, I don't know what the actual cost was on those. Uh, 40 for the steel organizer and 37 for the toiletry kit. So they're about the same. Okay. And then the attachment pods are 10 bucks. Okay. Yeah. And the, you know, the attachment pods are nice. I think that if you're wanting to have a clean look that matches this setup, it's definitely a cool way to go. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, there are definitely other alternatives you could get at a hardware store um, or if you felt comfortable enough. I initially was going to try to do it on the uh, awning arms of our camper, but I wasn't for sure if that was acceptable or not. You know, it's not a lot of weight, but I don't know if those are really intended to carry much weight at all other than kind of screens and smaller accessories. Yeah, you definitely don't want to risk bending. No. Are you you said those are hook and loop straps that that fastens with. So they, they're hook and loop and there's a snap. So they have both built into it. So the snap is right in the middle of that hook and loop pad. Okay. So you could get creative in, in ways of hanging that out. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Um, yeah, I think though that I mean, if all these shoes were laying at the front door or the door to my camper or tent or anything like that, it's going to be a mess. I mean, there's 11 mm -hmm. different pairs of shoes of kids to my, you know, 13 size hiking boots. It's going to take up a lot of space and now they're just up off the ground. Yeah. Yeah, I like them. Keep stuff organized. Very nice. You guys got any other questions? No. No, no questions. Okay, comments? No. No, no comments. I, I think they're nice bags, and I think they definitely do um, what they're intended. Yeah, definitely. Awesome. Well, thanks, guys. Thanks for uh, meeting up with us. Sure thing. Thank you. Thanks, All guys. Right. So as you can see, I think the general consensus is organization at your campsite is key. Having something that's high quality is huge as well. And just the sheer capacity of being able to get all of these shoes out off the ground, out of the way, you know, it's just one less thing to think about when we've got all that stuff and we're stumbling around at night, we don't have to worry about our shoes being on the ground. But that's gonna do it for our look at the Thule Shoe Organizer.